So the project really tackled th uh, three different types of infrastructure moving from simple to complicated. Uh, so the first infrastructure we look at is a single light, single lane intersection. So basically about three to 400 meters before that light and 300 to 400 meters after that light. As a group of vehicles approaches, what is the decision on vehicle dynamics? Who is our highest energy consumer uh, in that cohort? For instance, if we have a class eight truck mixed with a bunch of light duty vehicles, uh, right? We know that the class eight truck is gonna be the, by far the highest energy consumer because of its mass in you know, vehicle dynamics. So generally what we want to do in that situation is tailor the velocity profile of the group towards minimizing the energy consumption of the Class 8 truck. It all basically maintain as high a velocity as possible if we're going to, if we know the light is red, um, slow down, you know, to an optimal profile for the group. And then, you know, even though the truck may not be the lead vehicle, we basically arrange the whole cohort around that uh, ego vehicle or egocentric from an energy perspective and then get it through the light with the least energy um, and the highest velocity profile uh, possible. So the next level up from that is now let's throw multiple lights in multiple lanes. And so now your opportunity to rearrange the cohort and optimize, right? We get more factors now to adjust. And so that's the second level of infrastructure is a multi-lane arterial with, let's say eight to 10 lights over say 10 kilometers or like six miles, right? Now I can shuttle this entire cohort through that infrastructure on what we call a green wave. You'll never stop at a red light real driving we know the well, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna exceed the speed limit oh I'm gonna encounter a red light I'm gonna stop or if I have a class 8 truck I know I'm gonna just bypass that thing because I hate following it <laughs> or don't like the slow vehicle dyna dy dynamics is probably the better way to put it right um, and so the, really the thing with our AI is we keep the cohort together when it makes sense if the truck, for instance, isn't going to make a light because it can't accelerate, we split the cohort and we split the light duty vehicles off and it does its own thing. Uh, that cohort does its own thing while the Class A truck does its own, you know, vehicle dynamics. And so from a technical standpoint, we have this machine learning algorithm that manages the vehicle dynamics. And then we have what's called a classifier that says, can the cohort make this light or the next light? If it can't, we split the cohort or make a preemptive decision to stop at a light um, so that we can make all the rest of the, uh, the lights green. So it's just a much more consistent way of moving vehicles through infrastructure um, kind of where the next step with that arterial is now instead of having light timing dedicated by some infrastructure control, now we let, and this is kind of where the research goes next, is we have the infrastructure adapt to the vehicles coming from, let's say, east, west, and north, south. So now we can almost get rid of the traffic light and shuttle the vehicles through this kind of, uh, it'll, it, I don't know what the right word to describe it is, but this uh, collision avoidance intersection with no lights. And, you know, and one of the researchers on the project has actually done some of the work that shows, yeah, this is possible. And you can get rid of the light and shuttle big cohorts east, west, north, south without collisions. And you greatly improve the energy consumption um, in, in the throughput. But what that requires is nearly 100% connectivity in automation on the vehicles, uh, you know, uh, penetra technology penetration rate.